<laughs> KC and JoJo all my life. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, again, uh, also in Raleigh, North Carolina, teachers are striking because they're not being paid adequately, and they're also striking for the uh, you know, for the good of their students. They're tired of being underfunded and undersupplied. It seems like the only thing we're willing to give teachers uh, without their permit, without a them asking us is guns. Uh, but I, for one, am tired of teachers sending notes home asking them for the supplies that we need. Now, years ago, in 2012, 2011, 2013, the economy was bad. Uh, there was austerity. We had to cut things. People got state workers and city workers, and, 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 you know, workers got cut. Teachers were among those people. Now that the economy is steaming along, they should be giving their money back, and they should be, they should be adequately paid. It is time to start investing in our teachers again who have our youth in the, in the core of their hands. If, if it takes a village to raise a child, it is a teacher that is at the head of that village. Everywhere we go, North Carolina, Arizona, Oklahoma, West Virginia, I mean, it's hard to believe, but they do have teachers in West Virginia. <laughs> and they should be paid adequately. We, have, we, we, we overburden them. We make them our, our counselors. We make them babysitters. We make them educators. We make them cafeteria people. We make them social workers. And now we want to make them police officers. And we don't pay them for any of them. It is time that America does what it's supposed to do. Instead of paying, making billionaires out of people who do absolutely nothing but ruin this country and ship jobs off, how about people that have everything to do with how well this country does? The reason that we have people who are, who are under, un, uh, underemployed and don't have the jobs because they don't have the education. Let's invest in the education that we know we need. I know this is weird coming from a dude who has a GED, but I can see the area of my ways. It is, it is teacher of a city after city, state after state. We're seeing teachers rising up and talk about how they're not being treated fairly and not being paid adequately. You get what you pay for. It, there's a reason we're falling behind education, ed, educationally and internationally. The reason we're not where we want to be, because we've taken all the money and given it to people that don't contribute anything except anger and bullshit. It is time that our teachers get exactly what they deserve to be adequately paid and to be adequately supplied. They need to go to school and know that they can teach those children and be safe and adequately paid. That's fair. Anybody wants that. How many, how many more people that just contribute nothing do we need? These, these, these are shaping our young minds. These are people who are shaping America's future. And we don't want to, we, what we don't want is America's future to be what it is for teachers, on the cheap. That's a, a little note from the GED section. We got Stokely right after. That's a little note from the GED section. We got the Jazz Report coming up on the D.L. Hughley Show.